Beat the Clock Handicap Chase is next, and this is a two mile 0 to 90. Another low graded race. Top one is Sagadar Classical for James Shea, Argentina Paul O'Neill, Water Clock Deal, Derek Hinton, Solange's Thomas Rogers, and Ramona Chase, Derek Hinton. So, again, 0 to 90 means there's only a small field, and two of them for Derek as well as where they go. So, 40% chance of Derek Hinton winning the race. And a water clock deal is the early leader from Sayadar Classical as they take the first. We've seen some pretty shoddy jumping this season on some horses. So, let's hope we don't get too many fallers in this. Otherwise, we might all be um, watching grass or something. Or jockeys chasing horses around to try and remount them. But it's water clock deal who's the early leader. They get to the second, and they're all going up with plenty of air. And Derek Hinton's water clock deal is the leader. Solange's and Sadar Classical are together in second as they take that third fence. Now they'll swing out left handed. And they're already quite well strung out with water clock deal in front by about four. To Sadar Classical in second, he's got a two and a half length advantage over Solange's, who's about a half length up on Ramona Chase who's probably about two and a half length up on Argentina so that's the that's the five then as they take the next so they're all safely over to the side of the water clock down is sitting a stiff old pace as they take the water all over that one okay as well with water clock deal in front say our classical in second so launches a Ramona Chase. They take that ditch slow jump there by the grey. Ramona Chase has seen that one drop to the back. And we're coming down to the mile point then as we take the seventh one. Oh, it was Argentina that was nearly down and out then. So it was nearly a case of do cry for me, Argentina, because it was nearly out of the race. And Water Clock Deal is the leader from Sandar Classical in second. So launches third. Ramona Chase has now gone past Argentina. They all jumped that ditch nicely though. Into this final seven furlongs. So we've got a bit of jumping to do though. And water clock deal has been pushed into the ninth. It's over that one nicely. There's four more to take than they're racing downhill. Then we swing in left handed shortly as well. And water clock deal from Sadar Classical. So launches is after that one. Then Argentina and Ramona Chase. You wouldn't rule anything out yet. But water clock deal gets over that one nicely. They all jump that one really well. And then we're racing down towards the third from home next. And water clock deal is still the leader from Sayadar Classical in second. And a big gap back to Salon. She's in there, another smaller gap back to Argentina. And Ramona Chase over the third last they go. And water clock deal is not stopping. Water clock deal still in the lead. Sayadar Classical trying to get closer, but he's actually getting further away. I think so long is back in third then Argentina and Ramona Chase water clock deal he's going to try and win this one from the front only got to get over two more fences and race for just less than three furlongs it's water clock deal who's a good five clear of Sadar Classical in second so long is back in third Argentina for Ramona Chase five Derek Hint oh he's made a mistake over that second last that's really not the stuffing out of water clock deal and Sadar Classical now comes up to challenge Sadar Classical on the outside they take the final fence a slow jump again by water clock deal and Sadar Classical is now going on water clock deal's got nothing left as a furlong to go and Sadar Classical is in the lead but here comes so long she's in Argentina it's well, Sadar Classical quick so launches and Argentina it's all three in the line almost it's Argentina just going to get up and take it Argentina wins it by length in the end then so launches and Sadar Classical Derek Hinton's pair ended up last and last but one and would you believe you could have a five runner race and have four of them the chance of winning it jumping the last and that was a far more exciting race than it looked like it was going to be after the long-time leader walloped that second last. Now Argentina takes it for Paul Neal. Paul O'Neill. Salonches for Thomas Rogers was second. Sadar Classical for James Shea was third. And Woodcock Deal and Ramona Chase were fourth and fifth for Derek Hinton.